Thank you for joining us. A Lubbock farmer is asking you to vote yes next month to a proposition that would protect farmers and ranchers when their land is annexed by the city. KCBD News Channel 11's Patricia Perry has his concerns and why he says it would benefit everyone if passed. It's no secret cities in Texas are growing, but as they do, what is beyond that city limit sign? Farm and ranch land. A lot of this land is still our land and we should be allowed to, to do the farming practices we need to do. Proposition 1, the right to farm in Texas, is a constitutional amendment that would give producers the right to farm on the land they own or lease, even if it's annexed into the city meaning it would protect the producer from municipal regulations that could hinder their work. It's still farmland, and so it, it needs to continue to be farmed until the houses are built on it. And with the proposition, it allows the farmer to go out there and produce a crop. Sturgeon is a fourth-generation farmer in the city of Lubbock, meaning his family has moved farther from the city limits many times. We've been doing that for almost 100 years. <laughs> it's hard to believe that this right here was once farm and ranch land, but it was, and it's a story Jason Sturgeon knows all too well because this was his family's land. A lot of the areas we know is going to be developed, but it, it is developing quicker than we, we really thought it would. Sturgeon says right now, farming in Lubbock isn't too difficult because most people in this area understand and appreciate farming, but he's afraid of what will happen in the future. As Lubbock grows and more people move in, they might not understand our farming practices or understand what goes on for a farmer. He says they may think their crops are too tall or not like the dust they kick up when harvesting. They might outvote us basically, you know, and keep us from doing what we need to do. But he says without farms, everyone would have more problems like more brown skies. While that land will be vacant and then you will see dust storms, a lot of erosion, and it, it, it won't be good. And he says we need farmers for the economy, food and fiber. Patricia Perry, KCBD News Channel 11.